Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is Use a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab to evaluate the following. Number 1 question is 101 whole square. Number 2, 1003 whole square. And number 3, 10.2 whole square. So these are questions on a solve this. So start with number 1 question. So number 1 question says that 101 whole square. So now, but in the question, it is given that we have to use the formula a plus b whole square. So that means we have to express this 101 in terms of two numbers whose sum will be equal to 101. And one more thing guys, we cannot simply multiply it. We have to use this formula only. So 101 whole square, that means in two numbers. That means two numbers, their sum will be 101. So the easiest one is 100 plus 1. Whole square easily you can see 100 plus 1 where 100 will be A and 1 will be B. So using this identity we put the values. So 100 will be 100 square. Plus B square that means plus 1 square. Plus 2AB that means plus 2 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 1. So 100 square means the number of zeros will get doubled. So therefore 100, zero zero, so 2 more zeros plus, so 1 square will be 1 only, 10 plus, 2 twos are, I mean 2 hundreds are 200, so multiplied by 1, nothing will remain. So is equal to 10,000 plus 1 plus 200, so it will become 10201. So this is the final answer for this question. So now let's move on to our next question. So our next question says that 1003 whole square. So this question you have to do also with like this only. So in this question we will take 1003. 1000 plus 3 whole square. So 1000 whole square first. Then B square that means plus 3 whole square plus 2 into AB. 2 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 3. So A square plus B square formula I have got it where A square means 1000 square plus b square means 3 square plus 2ab that is 2 multiplied by 1000 into 3 is equal to so number of zeros will get doubled here also so 1 0 0 0 another 3 zeros 1 0 0 plus 3 to the power 3 is equal to 9 plus now this one doing that off so 2 into 2000 that is always 2000 so multiplied by 3 that is equal to 6000 so plus 6000 you have to write here. So now first we check that where this 6 will be inserted. So we can obviously say that 9 will be at the last rate, right? 9 only. So now 1 stands 1000. So sorry, 1 stands 100,000. 1 stands 100,000. So between these two zeros we write. Then write the 6. Then 0, 0, 001. So therefore 1006009 0, 0, 0, 0, will be the final answer for this question. So now move on to one last question that says 10.2 whole square. So this is a different type of question where we have to do in terms of decimal. So it is also similar to that only. So only 10 plus 0 0.2 whole square. So 10.2 that means 10 point sorry 10 plus 0 0.2 whole square. So here is a plus b formula we write 10 square plus 0 0.2 whole square plus 2ab that means 2 into 10 into 0 0.2 close to bracket so here we can see that a plus b whole square formula scheme where 10 square that is a square plus b square that is 0 0.2 square plus 2ab that is 2 into 10 into 0 0.2 so here in this question so 0 will be double that means 100 plus so 0 0.2 whole square so we doing the rough 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.2 2 2s are 4, 0, 0, 0, 0 multiplied by 2, 0, 0. So 4, 0, 0. So 2 plus decimals, 1, 2. So 0 0.04. So 10, 100 plus 0 0.04 plus 2 into 10 into 0 0.2. So 2 into 10 that will be 20. So 20 multiplied by 0 0.2. So 2 multiplied by 0. 2 multiplied by 2, 4. Cross 0, 0. So 0, 4, 0. So 1 decimal place here the point will be. So therefore plus 4. 
so the final answer will be 100 four point zero four so guys look at the decimal point and be careful while putting the values it is not 0 0.4 but 0 0.04 so this is our final answer for this question. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions.